Once upon a time, Renee Russo was one of the hottest actresses in Hollywood, following her breakout film debut in the 1989 sports comedy Major League. Best known in her heyday for lead roles in blockbusters like Lethal Weapon 3 and Outbreak, Russo slowed her acting career down considerably starting around 2005. Here's why and what she's been up to in the meantime. Hollywood Hiatus Russo took a major league break after starring in the family comedy Yours, Mine, and Ours alongside Dennis Quaid in 2005. She told BuzzFeed Why in 2014, I just think I hit a wall. I was not in any shape to do a movie. I was depressed. It was not a good time for me. I really wanted to do other things, but I didn't know how to get off the treadmill. She returned to the scene six years later as Frigga in Marvel's Thor, repeating the role in the 2013 sequel. As of the making of this video, she's only appeared in four other movies since 2011. Russo says part of the reason she decided to end her self-imposed acting hiatus was meeting fans who told her they missed seeing her on the big screen. Career Change So what does a movie star do when they're not starring in movies? During her hiatus, Russo worked with the Department of Water and Power in LA in an effort to revitalize native gardens in the midst of California's drought. After that, she started her own business, White Cow Dairy, a milk and yogurt producer located in upstate New York. Russo helps run the dairy and its 40 cows with a farmer friend. Russo says retreating to her farm provided a great contrast to her time in Hollywood. I was so happy. It was so much more fun than getting up and having makeup on my face at 4.30 in the morning. High Standards Quality roles for older actresses are difficult to come by, and Russo says she simply won't settle for playing underwritten characters. She told Build in a 2017 interview she also won't revisit characters who feel too familiar. If I'm playing another watered-down version of something I've, I've already done, then just pass. Despite turning down a lot of roles, Russo still snaps up the good ones when they come along. Take 2017's Just Getting Started, a project for which she accepted the role without even reading the script. Just Getting Started was written and directed by Ron Shelton, whom Russo has a fondness for ever since working with him on the rom-com Tin Cup in 1996. Russo says she accepted the role in Just Getting Started immediately because she enjoys working with Shelton that much. I got the script and honestly, I, I didn't even open it. I said, I'm in, Ron. I'm in. I didn't know who it was. I didn't know who he's with, but he writes so beautifully for women. And despite a poor reception in box office, she had a blast working with legendary actors Morgan Freeman and Tommy Lee Jones, whom she describes as perfectly matched. Power Couple Russo has been married to screenwriter and director Dan Gilroy since March 1992. The two met on the set of Free Jack, which Gilroy wrote, and were married soon after, with Gilroy moving to Los Angeles to be with her. The couple turned out to be regular collaborators, most notably with the critically acclaimed and Oscar-nominated Nightcrawler in 2014. Russo co-starred in Nightcrawler alongside Jake Gyllenhaal, and the film was written and directed by Gilroy. After Nightcrawler's success, Russo, Gilroy, and Gyllenhaal are teaming up again to make a film set in the world of contemporary art. Shooting on the currently untitled project begins March 2018, and fans of Nightcrawler can expect to see a similar dark vibe at work, though Russo insists that it will be something completely different from their previous collaboration. Whatever it is, we can't wait to see what she has in store for us next. Thanks for watching! Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.